In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn flat earth into the perfect sphere. First thing you want to do is delete your default cube, press numpad 7 to be in top orthographic view, press shift A, and we are going to add a mesh, in particular a plane. Then we're going to press N to open up this bar via, and we want to make sure that the X dimension is double that of the Y dimension, so we'll put it on 4, and we can press N to hide that again. Next thing we want to do is add the earth onto this plane, as if it were a map, so we go to our material properties, new material, go here to the base color on this I, the dot here, you press that and image texture, then open and find your image texture. I'm going to my uh, desktop and my current projects and I'll select the earth. Once you've got that, you can find any, the earth online. Once you've got that, you want to switch to material mode and you'll be able to see the earth. There we go. We've got flat earth right in front of us. How do we make this the perfect sphere better than what we can do with an icosphere or UV sphere? Well, all we need to do is go to our modifiers. So we modify properties, add modifier. We're going to add a subdivision modifier on simple. And we'll just change the level to 6. And 6. I always like to keep render and those two the same. Or the render view at least higher than the level viewport. And uh, we can minimize that. And we're going to add another modifier. This new modifier is going to be called a simple deform. And we're going to add another simple deform. There we go. So we've got two simple deforms. Now before we do anything else, let's press Shift A and let's add an empty, a plane axis. Now that we've added the empty, press N and just make sure that the X axis is on 90. Once you've done that, select your image again, click Bend and we're going to change this to 180 uh, on the X axis of the empty. And we'll do the same with, with this one over here, on the Bend. This time on the, on the empty but on the Z axis and we'll make this 360. And there you go. Let's look, let's look at our perfect sphere. And you can see, unlike using a UV sphere or icosphere, there's no glitches. It's perfectly mapped. And obviously what we can do is shade the smooth and there you have it. We have the perfect earth mapped perfectly from flat earth to sphere. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Cheers.